Hello, welcome to the next Q&A video. You guys have been asking me loads of questions again, so I thought I'd answer them. So let's get started. The first question comes from Oi, it's Georgia uh, over on Instagram. Georgia says, do you enjoy guitar or singing more? So I started out on guitar, it was my first instrument. I never thought I'd ever be a singer. I was more of a kind of lyricist, I suppose, when I was a lot younger. I never thought like I'd be the person in the spotlight. Um, but I do really enjoy it. If I had to pick between guitar and singing, maybe if you asked me back then, I would have said guitar, but if you're asking me now, singing comes out on top every time. Can you read piano sheets notes? I can. Um, I don't play as much piano as I used to. Uh, I don't do as much sight reading as I used to either. I'm sure if I put the practice in now, I'd be a lot better at it. With guitar, I actually started out by just using guitar tablature online. And then after that, I taught myself to actually read music properly. In fact, any young musicians out there that are just starting to teach themselves guitar, I could not recommend ultimateguitar.com enough. Uh, go check it out, you can learn all your favourite songs and get practising. You'll also find my song Cherry on Top, all the chords for that on that website as well. I'll drop a link in the video description. I'd love to see you guys cover Cherry on Top, that would be very cool. Caitlin Rhodes says, do you prefer pink or blue? As in the boy band blue and the pop star pink? In which case, that's a toughie. But if we're talking colours, my favourite colour is blue. More specifically, turquoise blue. Hannah Smith says, do you like my video to Cherry on Top I did with my friends? If you mean this video. He's got a sweet tooth. You only want what's bad for you. You make them go up moves. You're hungry for what I could do. Leaving your tongue tied. I'll take it to the other side. Your body's designed. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you guys so much. A big shout out to Georgia, Bethan, Hannah and Alicia. You guys are awesome. You definitely made my day and it put a smile on my face. So well done. I love the video. Joyful200 says, if you could have any animal as a pet, what animal would you choose? Pooh! Any animal. Okay. Perhaps I should be a bit more exotic with this then. A tiger would be cool. A meerkat would be cool. A lion would be cool. An elephant. No, I don't have room for one of those. Well, if it was house trained and it didn't poop on the sofa, um, I guess like a spider monkey would be cool. And of course, I'd call it Marcel. Just all of the animals. Can I have all of them? Is that okay? I'd like to have all of them. I'll have all of the animals, please. If you need me, I'll be over here building an ark, apparently. Gymnastics Freak says, which musical artist has inspired you the most? Different artists inspire me in different ways. For example, Alison Robertson, she's the lead guitarist of an all-female fronted rock band from America called The Donners. I'll drop a link below so you can go and check them out. I'm sure you guys would like them. When I was teaching myself guitar, Alison Robertson was kind of the person that I looked up to. For me, at that age, The Donners kind of brought this all-female empowering rock goodness that I couldn't really find anywhere else. So that's why I was such a big fan of them. I urge you to check them out. In terms of lyrics, Alanis Morissette has always inspired me very, very much. Especially the expression in her vocal on all of her songs. To me, it just has always come across as very believable. You know, if that makes any sense, it just sounds real. Zozy Bo says, is your life amazing at the moment? It's pretty good, I can't complain, I'm keeping busy. I've got lots more singles lined up for you guys for the rest of the year, which I cannot wait to show to you. So yeah, watch this space, life is good. Lily Ryder says, where do you start when you begin to write a song? It all really starts with one idea. Usually how I'm feeling determines the style of song I come out with. For example, when I wrote Summer Romance, I was really excited for the summer and I knew that it had to be a feel-good, upbeat, fun song. 
I began to write around the theme of love and summer and everything else just kind of fell into place. In terms of song structure, a more recent habit of mine is to actually start with writing the chorus first. Once I know that I've got a really catchy, hooky chorus, uh, then I tend to start with the verses and build around it. I hope that helps. If any of you are writing your own songs for the very first time, uh, first of all, good on you. Give it your best shot. If there's anything I can do in terms of advice to give you, um, then I'm more than happy to help. If you've got any questions, just let me know and I'll try and help as best as I can. The Fault in Our Stars over on Instagram says, if you get nervous going on stage, what is the easiest way to overcome it? The general rule is that people tell you to imagine the audience are naked. <laughs> um, but for me, that's never really worked. If anything, it just makes my face do this which isn't good for anyone. Nerves are never easy to get rid of and they always appear at the worst moments, usually when you're about to go onto stage. I get them still as well. I get the little bit of flies in my stomach. Um, but the best thing I could say to you is just try and be as confident as possible. Once you're up there and you've started, you've got your first verse out, then you're already enjoying it. So don't worry too much. Just think about the performance of it and how it's gonna make you feel afterwards. Bethan Smith says, hey Emma, where is your dream place to sing and why? If I think about it, my dream place uh, would probably be on the Nickelodeon Awards, just so I have the opportunity of being gunged. Amy Haluska uh, on Facebook says, how old were you when you started playing music and singing? Uh, I started writing lyrics when I was 12, 13, and I started performing at gigs uh, when I turned 16. Erin Ward Cockerill says, tell me the meaning of one of your songs and a shout out please, smiley face. Okay, so as soppy as it sounds, Summer Romance is about finding love in summer and wishing that it lasts all year round. It kind of tells the story of someone that might have fallen in love a little bit too fast, and they want to keep that warm, fuzzy, similar feeling for a little bit longer. It's not that it's hard to fall in love any other time of the year, um, but for me, personally, summer has always been quite romantic. Joshua Nesbitt says, where do you live? What is that Russian accent? It's like red from Orange is the New Black. Get the chicken. Joshua Nesbitt says, where do you live? I live in Oxford. Posh. Uh, I'm probably the least poshest person in Oxford. Did I just make up a word? Poshest. Is that a word? You can tell which university I didn't go to. Jodie Jenison says, how many guitars have you had over the years? Nine. In my lifetime so far. Wait, ten. Alex Catherine Lazo uh, says, if you weren't a singer or songwriter right now, what would you be doing? Uh, follow me. If I wasn't a singer-songwriter right now, I wouldn't be having as much fun. Um, I'd like to think that I'd be traveling and working at the same time. That'd be really cool to do, travel the world, see all these places, meet lots of different people. I'd love to work with animals as well. I'm a big animal person. Jade Archer says, do you remember me from Knights Templar School? Of course I do. I remember that show. It was so much fun. We were outside in the sunshine and it was like a mini festival but at school, it was fun. And I signed a lot of your shoes, a lot of people's shoes. People were just saying, write your name on my Converse or my whatever. So I hope I didn't ruin everyone's shoes. Everyone's got my name on their feet now. It's the new thing. Lacey says, do you remember a guy called Kyle Matu? I'm his sister. And what is the best part of meeting people who like your music? I do indeed remember Kyle. Uh, he's a lovely guy and pretty hard character to forget, to be honest with you. <laughs> when you're a songwriter and you've crammed a lot of effort into one song that potentially lasts three to four minutes, it's really lovely and rewarding to hear what people think. So do keep letting me know what you think of my songs. Uh, it really means a lot to me. It's why I'm here and it's why I'm writing them. I write my songs to make you guys happy as well as myself. So I hope it works. Stuart Craner on Facebook says, still waiting on an orchestral maneuvers in the dark cover and any plans to gig over here? 
I would love to sort an OMD cover out for you. I will absolutely do that, Stuart. In regards to gigging over in the States, that's always been a big dream of mine. Watch this space, it may be happening soon. Alexander says, do you remember a school you've been to? It's called St. Bede's Middle School. Of course, I remember St. Bede's School. We had the band there for that show and we all enjoyed performing to you guys and meeting you peeps afterwards. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for my loom bands that you made me as well. I still have them. I was wearing them on my school tour. So thank you for being awesome. Hannah Lockhead says, hey Emma, I love your music so much. Uh, what is your all time favorite food? I love you. Ask any of my friends and they'll tell you that I am obsessed with popcorn. Salted every time. I can't go to the cinema and watch a movie without popcorn. It's just not right. I even have a popcorn maker on my desk for when I get peckish. Last year, when I was in America, I was in San Francisco, we went to see a movie and it baffled me that they actually had butter on tap to drizzle over your popcorn. As good as that sounds, that is not good for you. <laughs> I really want popcorn now. Can you make me some popcorn? Jacob Smith, where and when did you do your first ever performance? Example, in front of a school or at a gig? Love you lads. My first actual gig ever uh, was at an acoustic night in Coventry. I was so, so young and so, so excited that I'd actually been asked to play. I was really nervous, even though the venue was a teeny tiny room with not an awful lot of people in. I played guitar and ukulele that night and it was the first time that I ever sung any of my own songs, ever. So a quick thank you to everybody that's entered my summer competition. You've only got until this Friday to submit your summer photos to my photo booth on my website. I will drop a video description below so you can do that right now. I'll be giving away a limited edition Epiphone electric guitar on Friday night. So make sure you check out my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, and things like that for the big announcement. After this competition is over, I'm still gonna be giving away some freebies for the rest of the year. So keep an eye out on my Facebook page to see how you can get involved and get some free stuff. Also, a big shout out to everyone whose names have appeared in the shout box above. Hello guys, shout out to you. Lastly, if you peeps could show some love for these two tracks I have here on my YouTube, that would be amazing. I'll be releasing even more music later on in the year, so keep your ears open. <laughs>